बसमीम हाई वोल्टेज इंजीनियरिंग फ्यू इंट्रोडक्ट रिवॉर्ड्स फॉर द हाई वोल्टेज इंजीनियरिंग हाई वोल्टेज इंजीनियरिंग इज द साइंस ऑफ प्लानिंग ऑपरेटिंग एंड टेस्टिंग द हाई वोल्टेज इलेक्ट्रिकल डिवाइस एंड डिजाइनिंग द इलेक्ट्रिक the insulation coordination in order to ensure the reliable operation of the power network how voltage engineering provides the access to electrical energy for consumer far away from power generating units and this branch of science develops and optimizes operating characteristics of internal and external insulators uh this is the ranges of high voltages that has been uh, used in different countries this range uh, varies from country to country uh but mostly uh, the low voltage range ranges from 100 to uh 1000 volt for the medium voltage the range is uh, start from 1 kv to 100 kv and the high voltage ranges from 100 kv to uh, 345 kv so from that the high voltage uh, range is started 100 okay kv now the extra high voltage 345 kv to 765 uh, kv and for the high ultra high voltage uh, the range is above 765 kv and as you all know that in pakistan the transmitted voltage the maximum transmitted voltage is 500 kv <coughs> these are the energy producers uh, in pakistan uh, the major one is the hydel power plants like turbela mangla nagazi barota etc and uh, we have the thermal power plants that are in the control of uh, gencos we have the nuclear power plants and um, few imports from azad jammu and kashmir and we have also the private producers for of the energy that is the ipps independent power producers all of these uh, energies are collected at a central point um this is the central dispatch and from that uh, it has been transmitted to discos the distribution companies like pesco uh, tesco lesco mepco etc okay and now and, and from that the revenue is uh, generating and uh, that has been collected uh, to the central power purchase agencies <coughs> okay now uh, why we need the high voltage power uh, so for this purpose i have uh, taken two example the one is the case 1 and the other is case 2 in order to explain in a very uh, synthetic way that why we need high voltage so the first case in first case uh, i have taken the, the power plant of uh, with the capacity of 1 uh, 11 megawatt and you know uh, in the power plant the voltage generated is 11 kv okay so if we do not step up this 11 kv and directly transmit this 11 kv uh, to the consumer side so this is the consumer side and this is the transformer this is street transformer uh, having the rating of 11 kv to 220 volts this is the st only step up transformer uh, in this case okay so uh, this is 11 kv to 220 volts so in order to transmit that much amount of power uh, we need to transmit 1000 amperes of current p is equal to vi i is equal to p by v okay so 1000 ampere current is a huge amount of current okay so now 
uh, the case B, uh, which is the existing system uh, in Pakistan and throughout the world. And by this system, uh, we are transmitting the high voltage. In this case, we have the low voltage. Low voltage has been transmitted, but the transmitting current is large in order to transmit that much amount of power okay now in case b uh, the same the same 11 megawatt power uh, is generating and the same voltage of 11 kv but in this case uh, a step up transformer has been used and this 11 kV is uh, step up. This is 11 kV to 500 kV transformer. So this is the step up transformer and 11 kV is, has been stepped up to 500 kV. Now the transmitting voltage is 500 kV. Means a higher voltage has been produced and the higher voltage will be transmitted. Okay. So in and then uh, by difference uh, in the different stages uh, we will step down this 500 kV uh, like two, uh, we will step down it to 200 kV then to uh, sorry 220 kV then to 132 kV 66 and so on to 11 kV okay so now how much current we will uh, need to transmit in this case that would be uh, 22 amperes means 11 megawatt oblique uh, 500 kV so we will get 22 amperes which is very much low as compared to the first case so now uh, we will discuss both of these cases case 1 and case 2 the transmission voltage in case 1 is low that is 11 kV okay but uh, to transmit that much amount of power 11 megawatt of power transmission current will be very high that is 1000 ampere very very high conductor size okay this what has been missed so very very high conductor size will be required to transmit this huge amount of current <coughs> and we will discuss in the upcoming slides that the conductor size increases with the increase of current flowing through that conductor so it means for the uh, one thousand ampere current we will have a high conductor size we need to have high conductor size and according to the book uh, if the conductor size will be for example if we take a, a tennis table tennis table okay and the tennis table the table tennis table uh, is considered as a set, as a diameter for that uh, conductor so uh, assume a circle around the tennis table so that will be actually the cross section area for the conductor of of 1000 ampere of current so a huge amount of current and this is only for one phase so two more uh, same size conductor will be required to transmit the three phase current so that is a huge amount uh, of uh, current uh, we will have a, a high conductor size so it will be quite difficult for us to transmit okay now considering the case to to transmit same power of uh, 11 megawatt if we step up the voltage to from 11 kV to 500 kV, then transmission current will be reduced to 22 amperes only. So lower 
conductor size will be required to transmit the 22 ampere current okay so uh, this is the one advantage of uh, high voltage that is reduction in cross section area of the conductor we will, we have a uh, few more advantages for uh, the high voltage in order to opt the high voltage case case two okay uh, we have few more advantages so let's discuss it in the next slide okay i hope you will understand this okay now move on to the next slide similarly we have uh, by reducing the conductor size uh, the tower structure will also be reduced for one for to to carry 1000 ampere current the tower structure we will need will also be very high and a strengthened structure will be required to carry uh, or to hold the 1000 ampere current but now if we uh, step up the voltage then the current will be reduced to uh, in, in the previous example the current will be reduced to 22 amperes so by reducing the conductor size the tower structure will be reduced so the cost of the whole system will be reduced by this way the third advantage is increase in the transmission efficiency uh, we will discuss all of these points in detail at the end of uh, the lecture okay the third point is increase in the transmission efficiency i square r the fourth is the, we'll have the better voltage regulation so the voltage drop will be reduced for the high voltage The fifth advantage is increasing the transmission capacity of the line <coughs> and because if we have uh, high voltage so the power capacity to transmit will be also be high increase of uh, surge impedance loading zl is equal to zs means the impedance uh, the, the impedance that is produced in the transmission line is totally transmitted to the sending end, uh, to the receiving end. Okay, Advan uh, this is the repeat slide. When the, volt the transmission is carried out at high voltage, the volume of the conductor required is reduced the second point is when the transmission is carried out at high voltage overall cost of the conductor is reduced thus making it economical to transmit large amount of power over longer distance the third advantage is when the transmission is carried out at high voltage the voltage drop in the transmission system is reduced number four when the transmission is carried out at high voltage losses in the transmission system will be reduced number fifth when the transmission is carried out at high voltage the efficiency of the transmission system is enhanced and we will discuss all of these points one by one in detail okay so here here we go the first point reduction in the volume or a reduction in the conductor size of of the transmission line okay so let we have uh, p the transmitted power v the line voltage caused by the power factor of the load i length of the line r is the resistance per conductor in ohm rho is the resistivity of the conductor and let a is the cross-sectional area of the conductor so as we know that in three phase system p is equal to under root three i v cos phi now the current will be equal to p over under 3 v cos phi resistance of the conductor 
uh, is given by r is equal to rho l over a resistivity length over area so Uh, the total power losses in the three phase system will be equal to three times i square r. So replacing the value of i from the previous slide and r as well. So we'll get p square rho l over a v square cos square phi. So from that, uh, the cross section area, because we are interested in volume. So for the volume, we, we must have the area. Area is equal to p square rho l over w the power loss v square uh, which is the voltage cos square phi so now the volume for the single conductor is area into length for the three phase the volume uh, would be three into times area times the length so three times this whole is the area times the length okay so l will be multiplied with this l we will we will have L square three times three into P square rho L square over this. Okay, so <clears throat> now uh, uh, consider consider uh, the rest of the variable as constant because we are only dealing with the volume and the voltage. So the volume of the conductor is inversely proportional to the square of the voltage. It means if the voltage is reduced if the voltage is increased the volume will be decreased by the square times okay so uh, we, if we have the high voltage the conductor size will be reduced okay now the second point the reduction in the conductor cost at high voltage transmission. When the voltage is increased in the transmission system by a step up transformer, the current in the transmission system is significantly reduced. Therefore, the size of the conductor required to carry small this small amount of current is also reduced. Due to this smaller size of conductor, its cost is also reduced. It is because smaller size of conductor will be cheaper as compared to large size of conductor thus making it economical to transmit large amount of power over long distance okay we will discuss the rest of the points in the next video thank you